Hello again, Dominic Trophy, and welcome to another video. And this one's going to be, this video is going to be a little bit different. This one's actually going to be about um, <clears throat> original content and why making original content is worth watching. Now, this is something I've definitely been thinking about for a while, especially for the last few days. Um, and it's definitely something I would definitely want to be talking about. But, but, but before I start, I just want to give a little bit of a quick shout out here to a YouTuber who I love watching. I adore his content, bloody worth you know watching, and that is Thirteen YouTube. Now the reason why I'm giving him a shout out here is the reason is because obviously he recently reached two hundred subscribers, and um, he's actually at 212 um, now, which is really really good. Um, you know, well done, mate. But also. Uh, one of his videos, his Wii U video, um, actually recently hit 30,000 views. It's around like 30,020 now, which is bloody impressive, especially for someone who's over 200 views, you know, uh, uh, 200 subscribers, well, you know, 212. So I just want to say, you know, well done there, mate. You know, keep doing the content you love, work, you know, keep us entertained. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is, as I just said, this is going to be about why original content is worth watching. And the reason I would say it's always worth watching is because of the fact it's something new on the channel. Or new overall, you know what I mean? Whether or not it's, you know, making these videos on YouTube, whether or not it's television programs, whatever the case, you know what I mean? Uh, making new content is always great to see. Because it's always something different and new, instead of the same old things over and over again. And... That's what I think makes a lot of these YouTube channels a lot more enticing and basically still stay on, you know, their, um, on their channel alongside the subscribers and other viewers that they get. And it's just nice to see, you know what I mean? It's, it's nice, you know, seeing the old stuff over and over again. But I think when you see something new, it definitely grabs your attention because you think, oh, this is really, really good. And I've seen this happen many times with different YouTubers uh, that I've watched over the years. And there are several that I will name here. Nothing bad, but obviously give them a shout, a little shout out. And these are um, Killer Comedy, Killer Comedy Unleashed, Thirteen YouTube, William uh, Neil Galloway, and Agent Aiden Zero Zero Seven. Now the reason why I'm naming these is well, not only do I like their content, which is true, I like their stuff. They also make content that is actually really, really interesting to watch, and isn't the it, and it isn't like the other stuff that the other YouTubers are doing, um, and um, that's what keeps me on you know their YouTube um, bandwagon all the time because it it's just something new and completely different, um, and like for example me when I make the Alex Francis videos, which is something new on the channel. Um, I love making those videos because they are something different and completely new. And I get a lot of uh, positivity from people who always say, Oh, I loved your video, man. Great video and stuff. Gave me a great laugh. Absolutely hilarious. And I'm glad to hear that. And it keeps me like, happy all the time when I'm here hearing great comments from people. Um, and even when I'm, you know, um, commenting on other people's channels and stuff, um, it, it's, it's really, really good, to, you know, to hear and stuff. And um, that's what keeps, you know, people attached to your channel when, you know, you make videos. But also bringing new viewers into it. And I think if you are someone that does the same stuff over and over again, it's going to easily get bored. Like, for example, with the idea of the, of the Alex Francis videos, I was watching two, uh, two YouTubers at the time. One was Buggy2988, who was making the Francis videos. As well as the other stuff. And Killer Comedy Unleashed. And when I watched the Francis videos on the other channel, I loved them a bit. I thought they were really flipping hilarious. But then after a while, it became a bit boring. I thought, you know, it basically, the, those videos stopped, stopped, you know, you know, being, you know, um, uploaded. And basically started um, showing up with and making other types of videos that I enjoyed at first. But then they just became really, really boring. And then I thought, why the heck am I subscribed to this YouTuber if he's not making anything that's really, really interesting? It's the same stuff over and over again. So I, I, I ended up unsubscribing. 
And that's what I did. And I was watching a lot more of Killer Comedy's channel, or 1316 Killer, aka um, Poly um, Carb Comedy, as he, was, as he was secondly known. And I watched his stuff after a while. Bloody hilarious. You know what I mean? One of the best YouTubers on YouTube, and he's worth watching. And I think for someone like him, he is he, he should literally have more subscribers than he literally has. Obviously, he had problems with, with bloody goofballs because they took him too seriously. But at the meantime, he, he has like 2,000 subscribers. At, at one point, he had 20,000. Um, and his comment, uh, content that he makes is so um, satirical and comedic. It actually is really worth watching. It's worth your time. And... Sorry. And the reason why people take him too seriously is because of the fact that people just do not understand why um, he acts that way. You know what I mean? He's not doing it to be a goofball or a douchebag. You know what I mean? He's not doing it for that. He's doing it because he enjoys it and he loves making people uh, laugh and hearing, you know, positivity from people. He likes to cheer people up. And that's why he makes it. He do not make it to be mean or annoying or triggering people. He do not do it for that. He does it because he loves making that content. And do you know what, mate? I salute you. Even though I've never properly met you, from what I've watched from you, you are a bloody great person. You know what I mean? You are a... You should... I, I think you are a great role model to a lot of people who watch your content and adore the stuff that you make. I salute you, man. You know what I mean? You are an amazing YouTuber. And I'm being serious there. And it is great to see a lot of other people doing the same stuff. Uh, and that's why overall, a lot of the smaller YouTubers, and people may think I'm triggering people, but it's, no, I'm not. I don't really flipping care, like you say, but... And I'm being truthful here. A lot of the smaller YouTube channels actually make better content than a lot of these higher-ups. And I'm being serious there. There's a lot of YouTubers that are in the, you know, 20,000s, 30,000s, whatever... Um, forty thousands higher, higher up, millions, billions, trillions, whatever, who do the same rubbish over and over and over again, and they still get views. But there's a lot of smaller YouTube channels who make original content that is worth watching, and it doesn't get as many. You know what I mean? And that is, people may say is unfair, and I totally agree with that. People may say, "Oh well, it's because you're smaller. You're a smaller channel." Does it make a difference? The thing is, I've got, and I did this last year, is Zelda Breath of the Wild Wii U unboxing. I did it on launch day back in on the 3rd of March last year. Do you know how many views that's got? 320. 320 views. And I have 162 subscribers. Just because you're a small channel doesn't mean, doesn't mean you're always going to get low views. No way it goes. As long as you make comedic content and original content, you will always be worth watching. And, I'm, and I mean that. I really, really will. I have a friend, a few friends and stuff, who make, like, a lot of, like, outside videos and stuff. Like, going to places and, you know, spending the days out and stuff, which are really, really interesting. You know what I mean? Having fun, enjoying yourself. And it's worth watching. And then there's a, a friend of mine who who does CD collection videos, shows off his latest CD collections, and they are really good, wa worth watching. They are worth watching. You know what I mean? And it's unfortunate, you know what I mean, that the reason why these big YouTubers always get favoritism from YouTube is just because they're earning the green stuff. They're earning money. Whereas us smaller YouTube channels, because we are not earning any money, it's basically, oh, well, we don't care about you. And the thought is, we don't care about you. You'll get views, but you won't get as many as these goofballs up there. And it's quite, you know, unfortunate and stuff. It really, really is. And, um, honestly, you know what I mean? As long as you make great content, I will always salute you. Something original. Not the whole exposing videos, triggering people, clickbait. Oh, well, I'm reading articles off a piece of paper. You know what I mean? Or I'm reading them off a mobile phone, tablet, whatever. Is that original content? It isn't. It really, really isn't. Like, I've done unboxing videos on my channel. 
and I actually make them interesting. You know what I mean? I've even done um, tech review videos of products that I own, and I talk about them, share my experiences about them, and I love making those. And a lot of people who I've spoken to say the same thing. Loved your video, man. Really, really interesting. Light that uh, I like to hear. I liked hearing your opinion and, you know, your experience of that product. Well done. That's what makes YouTube great. Not the whole exposing YouTuber 644. That's not the way it goes. And it is awful to see, but... You know what I mean? But as, as long as you make great content, you are worth watching. You are bloody worth watching. And I don't care if anyone trolls you, gives you crap, you know, the, you know, the, the try and take you down. I don't flipping care. I do not bloody care. Because I love making the content that I put on here. The Alex Francis videos, the tech review, ta um, the, um, the tech review videos, reviews about stuff. I enjoy it. And I will never, ever stop. Because I love it. And I've met so many great people that I've messaged to who were great to talk to. And I just want to say thank you all. Thank you all for those that make great con content on YouTube. You are an amazing bunch of people who are always worth watching. Every day, every week, every time, every second. And I salute you all. Never stop and keep fighting these goofballs. So yeah, a little bit of a different video, but I'm glad to, you know, make it and stuff. So I just want to say thank you much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be doing another one shortly about my review about the new 2DS XL. This is a review, review, a review I was going to do a while ago, but I never really got to round to do it. So I just want to say thank you much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you really, really enjoyed it because I liked making this and, you know, putting my thoughts about stuff. Just want to say thank you much for watching. See you later, and I'll see you all shortly. Bye.